Hello, I'm currently in my shower and I'm filming for PNG and I just dumped water on my head. In other news, I got a kitten. I am so excited to share with you guys. I have like little marks all over me. Let me get dressed. Gotta pick out what to wear knowing a kitty might pee on me. So gorgeous. This is little Lewis. So on to why I have this two week old kitten. I didn't find him. Um, someone came into my husband's work and they were in desperate need of help because they had all of these little kittens that they found at a trailer park. But I agreed to take on this responsibility and have a new member. <laughs> Even though our cat Santana doesn't like other cats, but doesn't like other full grown cats. So we were like, okay, if we ever were gonna get a second cat, we'd have to do a kitten. And then the opportunity presented itself. Now we have Lewis. It took us a while with the name, but I picked Lewis because of H2O just said water and we like Louie. We're gonna use a kitten. Louie, wee, oh, he bit my chin. But he doesn't even have teeth. Got him some supplies at PetSmart. Got you your first toy. Do you like him? We got chicken salad chick. This is our tradition whenever we adopt a cat, apparently. <laughs> Hungry boy. Oh. <laughs> I was so excited when I first got him and I asked you guys for names and you came up with some really good ones. So let's see some of my favorites. Barry, we actually thought of Baron because he is a tuxedo cat, so he'll look really regal, but then it just wasn't really sticking. Henry, Panda, Oliver, Otter. He does look like a little otter right now. Pikachu, Tyler liked Pikachu. And look, it's your brother. Oops, but yeah, it's been a learning curve when we got him. We were like Googling everything because it was it was not like something that we planned on or anything like that. You have to like even help them pee. Like they don't even know how to pee on their own. So that's been interesting. You pee on me. Yeah. They said burp like a baby. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look, look how big his belly is. Oh, look at that. Maybe I should do his, his potty now. Oh my gosh! Yay! Yeah, the second he starts like screaming and wiggling. Oh, he's gonna do both. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be so great for you. <laughs> oh, he's like he's trying. Good boy. Good boy, push. <laughs> okay. I also just applied press-on nails, so I have a kitty. These are cute. These are from Korea. You can see all my <laughs> cuts. <laughs> it's Lunar New Year, so I'm gonna show you a PR gift that I got that is Lunar New Year themed and it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The favorite. I've heard about this one, but I've never tried it. so I thought I would show you my go-to meal right now. For these salmon wraps, we've air fried salmon. I actually don't know how to do that. Tyler always does it. Bye. Lemon pepper. This tastes so good on salmon, and even if you don't put it on when you're cooking it, you can put it on after. I also usually make this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but I'm actually so hungry right now. Try this one if you love salmon and rice and this sauce specifically. It's like an upgraded version. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go give this to Tyler and check on our new little baby. 
Okay, so you saw some clips from the first week. We've been just looking at um, the kitten ladies videos to help us out whenever we don't know what we're doing, but I thought I would do a little haul. That's why I'm on the ground and I have some stuff that we have bought for the kitten. So at first we were bottle feeding him just with this kitten milk replacer. He used to not be that aggressive, but then we learned we had to wrap him because he was killing us with his claws. To do a little burrito and I have to do it a little tight or he just gets out. I'm sorry, this is Snuggy. You can tell he's doing it when his little ears are wiggling. Can <laughs> oh. oh. you get his little face? Oh, this is perfect. This is gonna be the cutest vlog ever. I know. Maybe she's hiding like that. Oh, the, oh, good boy. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, he likes to do this. Oh, oh, where's he going? Is that fun? <laughs> Can't even see where he is. Oh, let go. He's been retrieved. <laughs> You're crazy. I can see his eyes turning a bit green, I think. And now we're weaning him off just the milk, so we're adding this um, wet food into the formula. Shake it in a mixer bottle and then still feed him with the bottle. Got these bowls for later. And my mom crocheted me this cat and little did we know we would get a tuxedo cat later. This is dewormer and you put it in their food at certain weeks. This warmer was recommended by the kitten lady and it just stays warm for a really long time. This is what it looks like. We started him with this kitty bed, but he quickly outgrew it. We put him in kind of a Tupperware with blankets, but he outgrew that really fast. So then I got him this pop-up play pen. It's worked out really well. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is an Animal Crossing baby blanket in there. And we knew Lewis was ready for the litter box because he sat up and peed on me instead of like wiggling around. And uh, we just placed him in the litter box, moved his paws, and that's been that. Like that's one of the easiest parts about cats that I love. Overall, the whole experience in the past couple weeks has been that it was a lot more than I anticipated. I had no idea he was gonna need around the clock care when I agreed to it. So we have not had a lot of sleep, but it has been very rewarding. And I mean, kittens just grow up really fast. So he's already, um, like more independent, kind of rambunctious. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's talking your prey. It's just been such a different experience because I've always adopted full cats, like full grown cats. We went to a place called Frisky Cat Cafe. We got to meet a bunch of different cats and see their personalities and Santana was a great fit. We have no idea what this kitten's gonna be like, but hopefully they do get along. I'm hoping that they become best friends. Right now, Santana will come over and sniff him, sometimes hiss and walk away. Um, but I think it just takes time. Speaking of Santana, my friend Regan got me a sweater that says Karma is a cat with Santana on it for Christmas. Like how cute is that? I'm gonna put it on. Oh, I wanted to add my biggest mistake so far, playing with the kitten with your hands. It's really hard not to do it because they're just so small and like fun to play with. But now my kitten, thinks my hands are toys and literally is destroying me, like biting the crap out of me. Ew. Owie. <laughs> and we're trying to give him like chew toys, make him bite something else, but he really likes biting me. So I have to really work on that. If you ever foster a kitten or taking care of like a really young cat, do not 
let them bite your hands because when the big teeth come in, I'm so scared. Thanks for watching this cat vlog. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you have any kitty tips, also leave them down below for everyone to read and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Also, you can watch the Santana adoption vlog. We didn't choose the name Santana, so if you hear me saying Tan or Tan Tan, that's just the nickname. Yes, anyways, see you in my next video.